booktube. So today I'm going to do a review on The Whisper Man by Alex North. I received this arc at BEA. The book doesn't come out until August 20th and it's an adult mystery, but I really enjoyed it. So a summary of the book. After the death of his wife, Tom Kennedy decides a fresh start will help him and his young son, Jake. But the town of Feather Bank has a dark secret. 20 years prior, a serial killer abducted and murdered five residents. Frank Carter was coined the Whisper Man because he would lure his young victims out by whispering into their windows. As Tom moves into his new home, a young boy vanishes which bears resemblance to Carter's crimes. This feeds into the rumor that Carter had an accomplice 20 years ago. And then Jake begins to act strangely and he begins to say that there's something that is whispering into his window at night. So the book is told through first and third person point of views. And it doesn't feel clunky, it doesn't feel off, it goes very smoothly. And it kept my attention, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the way that the author used first and third person. Because sometimes that can be hard um, to do, and especially when you have multiple points of views. Because it's told primarily through Tom, Jake, and two detectives point of view and they each have their own issues they all see it differently you have one detective who was a part of the case 20 years ago because they couldn't find one of the boys and they never did um you have a new detective that really wants to prove herself you have tom who's still mourning the loss of his wife and you have jake who's trying to deal with the loss of his mother so you have all of these different different perspectives hidden each other and how they deal with all that you have the relationship between sons and fathers and different seniority and the effects of hard cases and how they can be on cops. So you have this really unsettling idea of this really creepy serial killer that lured his victims out at night. Like it wasn't just a serial killer who was really creepy and unsettling. It was also some of the people and some of their grotesque hobbies that they have and decide to do and partake in. It's one of those books where the concept was really strong and the writing held it together and made it mesh well. Like I read a mis another mystery recently that I won't name that um, the concept was much better than the book itself, which that was kind of disappointing. But this one was just really solid and really good. And it made me ask myself, why don't I read more mysteries? So I think I will read more mysteries now because I read this book. I'm like, wow, you really like ID and you really like true crime shows. Why don't you read more, you know, mystery books? So yeah, it's an adult mystery. It was really good. Highly recommend.